everybody, it's Wendy Basin again, and today I want to show you another in the series, My Take on Their Page. A page today from the Creating Keepsakes December um, issue. It is on page 116, and they have theirs done as a snow page. And because I don't have any snow pictures, I decided to just do it as a love page. So this is the page from the book, page 116, the Creating Keepsakes magazine for December 2009. And this is my page. I want to show you a few little things that they did in the magazine that I think are worth mentioning. Um, they always do great pages in here. They have these letters I thought were absolutely adorable. They focused on them down here, and what they've done is they cut them out with using the Cricut, or that's how I did mine. Um, I think she freehanded hers, but I'm not that good at letters, so I just use my Cricut. And this is the Mickey Mouse font, and I'm going to show you how they did this. So, I have my Tim, Tim Holtz ink, which I cannot live without. So, the first thing I do is the edge. And you just ink that up really good, which I ink everything. If it stands still, it gets ink on it around here. Um, and then I take these little sponges and just get a little on there and rub it in. And, and, you know, this doesn't have to be the most exact thing you've ever done. Most of the things that I do don't. If they did, I probably wouldn't do them. So, you can see that gives you... I cut them out of the same paper as my background, but that gives you a little bit something so that it has some depth to it. And then I've just took a little stamp of the letter and you can see the L has L's on it and the O's and the E's so this is going to have a V on it and I just randomly stamp V's on there and that makes it really cute and then I'm going to take my stamping up marker just to give it a little bit more depth to the edges and just kind of outline the outsides and of course you you know again don't have to do this perfect I just like the way it sort of gives it some depth on your page and then something else that I like to do is and do this as wiggly handed as you can and I just kind of make an outline here. Again, it doesn't, um, there's just no telling how much detail this gives to it. I, I just, I love it when you do these extra little steps. It makes the page look so much better. Here's the letter. And I rotated, I did this one in Pop Dots, and these two I put down on the page. So I'm gonna put Pop Dots on this one which will just lift it up off the page a little. So I'll do that. You can see they use snowflakes on their page. And like I said, I didn't have a page that I wanted to do out of snowflakes yet. So I just changed the wording to make it my own. So there's, you know, you can copy pages from the magazines, which is, you know, what the magazine's there for, is for inspiration. So you can copy pages and do their layouts, but you don't necessarily have to, you know, it doesn't have to look like you photocopied the page. That's no fun. So you can add your own personal touch. So there's the V. And then I thought I made they had on their pages. So I used my punch here and made um, these little flowers and put a little button inside and so I'm going to put one right here on this corner and I just use my sticky dot to do that. My friend Kelly calls those snot dots um, which I think is hilarious. 
So I put that right there. And just now that I have it on there, I'm thinking it would be nice if it had a pop dot. So I'm going to put that back there just to kind of make sure that later on it doesn't stick to the um, page underneath. You might want to do that beforehand. It may help. So again, I just want to close by saying this is my finished page. It's a copy from the Creating Keepsakes magazine for the December issue. And I'll give you one more look at their page. That's page 116. They did theirs as a snow page. I did mine as a love page. I hope you enjoy my take on their page.